I am going to read through this pattern know me 2066 I'm thinking I want to make this dress with this denim fabric that I have left over from a jacket that I made so I have this solid denim here and then I have this striped denim and then I have solid white and I think I can do something with these leftover fabrics to come up with this dress. It does call for a belt which has eyelets and a buckle but I'm thinking I would probably leave the belt off and so all I would need to get is an 18 inch exposed zipper. There are 24 pattern pieces. The pattern is rated as average. You do have carriers, which is what the belt will go through. And also these right here, this little white front section, those are pockets. I was like, oh, and then I flipped it over and I noticed her hand is in her pocket. But I really didn't even notice that before. So I was like, okay, pockets, I see you. You might be able to hear my iron heating up because it's pretty loud. But I separated all the pieces. So the way I have it right now is the pieces are on top of the fabric that I think I want to use for these particular pieces. So right now what I'm planning is to have the main body of the dress in this navy denim and then have the contrasting pieces in the stripes. I do have this white over here with the two pattern pieces on top that I'm still kinda not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with yet. So we'll see how this goes. Piece 22 and piece 23 are front and back facings that go around the flounce. And what you do with that is you will do top stitching all around the flounce. And when you finish, it should look something like this. And I decided that I don't want this top stitching on my flounce, so I am not planning to cut out pieces 22 and 23, which are again the front and back facings. I was able to get everything cut out in these two fabrics so I didn't use any white fabric at all and there is top stitching all throughout the pattern and I'm going to be probably rotating between white and navy. I have most of the bodice done. The back is just a solid stripe and all I need to do for the bodice now is put on the sleeves but I'm going to work on the skirt now and then I'll come back and put the sleeves on later. Here is the skirt done and this is how it looks in the back and then the front has these pockets and then I'm going to attach it to the top the bodice. I am working on the flounce right now and for the zipper the pattern calls for an 18 inch zipper and I just used a 16 inch all-purpose zipper and it worked out okay 
I did cut out a size 8 in this pattern and this pattern is rated as average. I just took some clothes out of the washing machine and I am happy to report that all of the socks came out alive. I don't know what it is, but you can put four pair of socks in the washing machine and the dryer and you come out with three and a half. It's like, where did they all go? So I have the dress pretty much all done. One thing I did notice was that I wished I had enough of this blue to go in this back panel. So this back piece, I use the stripes, but I think if it had blue, then it would make the sides stand out a little bit more. But that's just something to note. Other than that, I'm really happy with it. By me not putting the facing around the flounce, it did leave this flounce raw so it's not hemmed or anything but I tend to like the frayed look so my plan is to just wash this as is so that the hem on the flounce can fray and hopefully that will look really cute other than that I still need to add the sleeves which is what I'm going to do I worked as much as I could last night and I got too tired for the sleeves and I was like okay I got the flounce on and everything else and I'll just finish with the sleeves and then I'm gonna wash it and try it on I am really happy with the way the frayed hem turned out this dress did take me a couple of days to make so I wouldn't call it a quick make but I would say it was definitely worth it I mentioned in one of my last videos that I was on the hunt for some pajamas and I wanted a pair that has like a button down shirt and some pants. And in that video, I went to Old Navy and I was looking for some PJs and I didn't find any that I liked. So after that, I came home and I got online and I started looking and I found some at Victoria's Secret. So here, is what I ordered. It's got the colors pink and green in it. So let me open it up. Okay, it's tied with a cute little ribbon. I got a size small and is this ribbon attached? Okay, no. So this is the top with the buttons down the front and then here are the pants. I wonder if they have pockets. I forgot to check. Oh, they do, okay. And then it has this little drawstring in the front. That's exactly what I wanted. So I'm happy about that. I did also order a Butterick pajama set pattern that pretty much looks just like this. It has the button down shirt and the pants. I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. And then that way, if I ever want some more PJs, then I can just, you know, sew up a pair and have different sets to wear around the house. My husband is out helping someone move and I decided to go to KFC to pick up some food to drop it off. I am hoping that I catch them though because they are taking stuff out of the house and throwing things away and they're going back and forth to the dump and back and forth to a donation center. So I don't know if they're going to be there when I get there but I hope that they are because I have a bucket of chicken to give them. <laughs> so we'll see what happens when I get there. Guess what? I'm pulling up and they are here. So I'm excited. I see my husband in the truck and my father-in-law is out here doing something. So I'm excited to bring them this food while it's nice and hot. Yes, this worked out perfectly. I got the food all dropped off 
and my husband said my timing was perfect because I guess they're about to go back out so I'm glad I made it over here in time yesterday I was helping them move I was responsible for cleaning out the closets that's just a task that I gave myself I was like I'll do the clothes I'll do the clothes so I was in the closet bending and stooping and I kept hearing like this rip and I was like oh my goodness my jeans my jeans were ripping but the good thing is I had on a long sweatshirt dress and it was covering up the jeans so you couldn't see anything but thank goodness you couldn't see anything because look at where the jeans ripped it's right under like you know your butt area area so all of this would have been hanging out and I was like oh my jeans I love these jeans I used to wear these all the time which is probably why they're all torn up now so anyway I think these jeans have had it but that's the end of that so anyway I am about to go shopping and see what I can get into I ended up stopping at a resale store that sells patterns they had quite a bit of patterns they had some vintage patterns they had some costume patterns and they even had some misses patterns but I didn't see anything that I wanted to take home with me but I did enjoy looking at what was in store I just finished eating and I am really full, but I bought a cake the other day from a bakery. Let me show it to you. It's so cute. Well, it was so cute and it's really good. So I think I'll get a little piece of this later. I just bought a white cake with white icing. 